everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So Valentine's Day is fast approaching in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be sharing lots of different recipe ideas that you guys can enjoy for the holiday. And if you enjoyed my chocolate covered strawberries video, which you can find on my channel, you're gonna to love today's video. I'm making these really cute and super easy chocolate covered fruit kebabs. Aren't they the cutest thing? And they're gonna look perfect arranged in a mug or you could just simply serve them on the tray to your loved one. These little treats are just super easy, so let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. These fruit kebabs can be put together with just about any type of fruit. Today I picked some large green grapes, I've chopped up some pineapple into nice large chunks, and I'm going to be using some fresh strawberries. So some other ideas for this, we use some blueberries, red grapes, raspberries, bald cantaloupe, or melon. You can even uh, use maybe some kiwis and bananas. Any of those fruit are going to work great with this. Today I'm using some thick bamboo skewers, and I'm just going to put the fruit on. Um, you can put this on in any order. I'm going to put on some pineapple first. Slide it right on there. I'm gonna add a large green grape. And then I'm also gonna add on my strawberries. So today I'm placing the fruit kebabs down onto a paper towel that I've spread over a cooling rack. And this is gonna help absorb any extra moisture that's left on the fruit. And that way the chocolate is gonna stick so much better. I have my fruit kebabs all ready and now it's time to get to our chocolate. So today I'm going to be using some dark chocolate melting wafers and I've placed them into a large bowl. And to melt these, I'm just going to place them into the microwave and then set my power level to 50% and stir every 30 seconds until that chocolate is nice and smooth. My chocolate is melted nice and smooth and now it's time for the fun part. So I'm going to grab my fruit skewer and I'm just going to dip it in. I'm going to dip it in about halfway. And then you want to just tap off any excess chocolate. And I'm going to place the kebabs chocolate side up onto my wire rack here so that chocolate could set up nicely. And now for the garnish. So on some of the fruit kebabs, I wanted to add some sprinkles and you need to add them while the chocolate is still wet. So just sprinkle it over the top. Otherwise the sprinkles just won't stick. And for the rest of my fruit kebabs, I'm gonna add some white chocolate drizzle. So I just melted some white chocolate and then placed it into a Ziploc bag and now I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top. Doesn't that look so beautiful? And it's such a simple thing to do. And now I'm just gonna let my fruit kebab stand at room temperature for about an hour to let that chocolate set completely. And if you're in a rush and you need the chocolate to set a little bit faster, you could just pop it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. And that's it for my chocolate covered fruit kebabs. Aren't they just so adorable? And they're so easy to make. So today I used the dark chocolate melting wafers and I highly recommend using those. Those are my new favorite for dipping fruit because I love that the chocolate just sets up so nicely and you don't really have to worry about tempering it either. And today I use the colorful sprinkles and a little bit of white chocolate garnish, but feel free to use any type of garnish and don't forget to include your favorite fruit in these as well. All that's left to do now is just dig in and give them a try. Mm. I think my new favorite chocolate covered fruit is gonna be pineapple. I've never tried it before, but I really, really enjoy it. It's a little different from the chocolate covered strawberries, but it still tastes so good. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Give it a try for Valentine's Day, and if you do, please share with me on Instagram. I love to see you guys' creations. You can just hashtag with Tatiana's Everyday Food. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time.